as a field, clinicians and scientists both recognize that there's tremendous heterogeneity in treatment outcomes of patients with major depressive disorder. What that means is that when we use one treatment, we often see many different outcomes in our patients. There's tremendous interest in seeing if we can understand what are some of the baseline characteristics of patients that predict particular patterns of treatment response. And John and colleagues report important new data on the symptom of irritability as it relates to treatment outcome in patients with major depressive disorder. And there's two main findings that derive from this paper. One is that patients who show high levels of irritability have particularly strong responses to selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and related medications. And then the other is that this response is particularly rapid within weeks to even days of initiating treatment. So for the clinicians, this should increase attention on symptoms of irritability and lead to a focusing of this attention on early changes in those symptoms. Because the data from JAS suggest that such early changes might indicate a particularly high likelihood of a successful treatment outcome. One of the more exciting recent developments in psychiatry concerns data on the efficacy of ketamine for treatment-resistant major depressive disorder. And this new set of findings has generated considerable interest in many other areas. One of the areas concerns using basic science research to try to better understand what is unique about ketamine and how it relates to this improved efficacy. Diyama and colleagues ask basic science questions using rodents and other techniques that are not applied in humans about the underlying cell signaling pathways that might explain ketamine's unique effects. Both clinicians and basic scientists will be interested to see this article because it both illustrates some of the state-of-the-art thinking in basic science, but also holds promise in generating insights about where subsequent new treatments might emerge.